Hi, I'm from vaporizerblog.com and today I'll be unboxing the new Hammer Portable Vaporizer by Head Tools LLC. So here we have it, here's the box itself and uh, it's definitely not the fancy packaging that we're used to seeing with the new portable vaporizers that have come out. It looks like it's staying within this industrial looking uh, theme that um, Head Tools LLC has come out with. So let's start to pull everything out and take a look at it. Okay, let's take a look at what we get when we order the hammer vaporizer. I'm assuming that this is the unit itself, but let's start with all the accessories. And here we have a whole bunch of tubes. We'll open each one up and see what is inside. And here we have one of their custom glass mouthpieces. Okay, so let's take a look at all the pieces that come with the hammer when you order one. In here we have one of the glass mouthpieces. It comes with two. You can take a look at that. I think this is the original glass mouthpiece. And here we have one screen and there's an extra screen right there. Place it down. We also have one nail as a screen cleaning tool and that's to keep up with their industrial workman theme. It's quite funny. And in here we have one of the larger stem glass mouthpieces and this one is part of the new lock-on system so it's got a bit of a bigger bowl here and they gave us two of those. Here we have the 14 millimeter ground glass bowl and this is a, an accessory that you can use to hook up to a, a bong if you like. And then here we have the unit itself and let's open that up and see. This is quite funny because it looks like a little workman's tool, a little bit black and decorish. Here's the unit itself. It really does look like a little play tool. Handy little box. And here you have your instruction manual. And no cords, no cases, because this is a butane powered vaporizer and it doesn't include the butane so you have to supply your own. Okay let's take a closer look at the unit and go through all the features. Uh, on the very top of the hammer we have the vent. Here we have the heat exchange. Right over here this red button this is the igniter it's just like a lighter in a sense. Here you have your um, fuel level window so you can see how much butane is in it. And this is a nice feature is your little temperature control dial. So here's uh, minus and here's plus and as you go up in temperature you go this direction. And right over here you have your fuel refill. So how does the hammer feel? It feels kind of sturdy but also a bit plasticky. So the hammer, uh, it's quite small, it's still portable. You can see that it fits into the palm of your hand. It's 1.5 by 3.5 by 6 inches. That's 45 by 106 by 182 centimeters. Uh, it's lightweight, it's 6.4 ounces, 181 grams. And it's small enough for those of you that prefer discrete vapes. So it doesn't come in a bunch of fancy colors, just your basic black with a red accent. It's a bit black and decorish. It has a 12 month warranty on the heating unit. It's definitely not one of those new digital gadgety vapes on the market. It's what it is. It's a tool, very utilitarian, and sometimes simple and uncomplicated can be the best vaporizing. So it feels a bit like you're holding a, a big lighter, which will appeal to those of you that are trying to transition from smoking to vaping. And because it's butane powered, there's no messing with cords and batteries, so that's a nice feature. Uh, the hammer is made with a stainless steel hot air path that turns into a glass pathway before the vapor reaches the herb. The borax glass stems, the ones that I showed you earlier, are hand blown in the USA and contain that little mesh screen that uh, we showed you earlier. There's an electric ignition system, that's this one. 
that ignites the butane and the butane exhaust is vented out from the top of the unit right here and it travels through a path separate from the hot air used to create vapor and the vapor itself so that means hopefully we don't get the taste of butane when we're vaporizing and the vapor should stay clean and uncontaminated. Okay, let's test the hammer out now. And before we do that though, because I wanna try the new lock-on system that's using this glass stem, mouthpiece stem. Um, before we do that, I've been told that we have to put these, this little rubber gasket and the silicone tubing on top here. So I am going to attempt to do that. There is a bit of a learning curve, I have to say, with the setup of the hammer. Even though it's a simple portable vaporizer, there's, it still takes some time to figure out how to attach all the glass stems. So here it goes. I'm going to try. My fingers are not that small, but let's see if I can actually put this rubber gasket in and get it working how it should. What we're supposed to do is Put this little rubber gasket around there so it just slides in and then the silicone tube is supposed to ever so easily not get inserted into this heat exchanger and it's not quite working for, out for me like I'd hoped. Okay, so I think that's in place now the way it is and uh, we can give it a go. So one of the nice features about the hammer is that we don't have to pre-charge any batteries for use. Um, as long as you have butane, you're ready to go. We've already filled this unit up. Let's fill the mouthpiece now and we're going to use um, the larger stemmed one that we have here. And today we're going to be filling it with a blend of sage, lungwort, peppermint, red clover and plantain. So apparently you need only about a tenth of a gram for that to yield four to five thick vapor hits. So we'll just put in a bit like that and we'll put it down and get the vapor, the vaporizer, the hammer ready. So um, the first thing we want to do is adjust the temperature and we're going to slide this over to where you see the plus indicator. I'm not going to put it all the way to maximum temperature. I'll just do it just before and test that out and see how it goes. And then the first thing you have to do is you have to hold down the button to ignite the butane. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So you should be able to hear the strong steady flame. And what you can't see is that there's a glowing blue light underneath the heating exchanger. But take my word for it, it's there. And it only takes 30 seconds to heat up, so that's quick. And I think we're ready to go. Okay, so now we can insert the mouthpiece into the heat exchanger, and we're gonna do that. And this just fits in like this. And it doesn't fall out, that's good. Okay, so now to vaporize, all you need to do is to hold down the button and then you slowly uh, inhale, and I'm gonna give it a go. Well, it's got a nice dense vapor, but it does take a while to get used to it, and you do smell the butane in the beginning. Once you get past uh, the initial stages though, and you do get to the, the vapor, it actually tastes pretty good. Okay, so as much work as it was to try and set this up, when we finally got it working, um, it did work. It does look like it vaporized, and I don't think it, it combusted, so that's a good sign. And it's quite simple to clean. You just get all your herb out, and voila. Okay, so this is not one of those vaporizers that can be judged on its sexiness, but rather on its performance. And it gave an okay performance once we figured out how to use it. And the draw was pretty good, again, once we figured out how to get to it. Um, I know this, that this will appeal to those of you that like the feeling of smoking, because it does 
actually feel like you're smoking, but it's vaporizing, it's not combusting. So you get to have your cake and eat it too. That's the good news about this vaporizer. It's got quick heat up time, no cords, no batteries, so you don't have to worry about that. And again, the big dense draw is what everybody seems to like about uh, the hammer. But some of the drawbacks on the hammer, it, it gets a bit hot. Like right now that we've used it, I'm, that's why I'm keeping my fingers lower because it's quite hot up at the top. Um, it's not as easy to carry around as some of the other portable vaporizers like the pack, for instance. It's not as maybe as discreet, um, but it is still small. And the other thing is that um, if you do bring it with you, you have to remember to bring the glass mouthpiece. And you know, I would for sure find a way to break that thing. Um, the butane, yeah, I still taste it. I'm not crazy about the smell and the taste, but I think maybe that's a personal choice. Maybe some of you can get past that. And um, yeah. For the rest, I have to say that uh, this is a simple, no frills vaporizer that delivers a big hit. So myself and the vaporizer team give it a half thumbs up. Um, and that's it for today. So remember, be wise, vaporize, and for more information, check out vaporizerblog.com.